With Baby Monster's much-anticipated debut comes one of the most confusing twists of the year, Ayun. Just two weeks before their official debut, YG suddenly announced her absence. As one of the most anticipated members, people were eagerly waiting to see her. Things took a quiet turn and she disappeared from YG headquarters for a while. Now, with rumors spreading and Baby Monster already debuted, fans are left wondering what's really happening with Ayun. At the beginning of the year, when Baby Monster candidates were introduced to the world through the show, The Last Evaluation, Ion emerged as one of the most anticipated members. She drew attention for her resemblance to Blackpink's Ginny, earning her the nickname of Blackpink's Ginny Lookalike. Many people pointed out that Ion possesses a graceful, traditional beauty. And Ion brings more than just stunning looks to the table. She's packed with talent. Right from the start, she's been celebrated as an all-rounder, displaying her skills in rapping, vocals, and even choreography. Her talents also reminded everyone of Ginny, who was also the once iconic multi-talented trainee at YG. Ginny boasts explosive rap skills, impressive dance abilities, and a strong vocal presence. After seven years, it seems like Ion is following in Ginny's footsteps. Ion's singing features a clean and pure tone, but when she raps, she brings out the hip-hop and YG swag, offering a glimpse into her limitless range. Beyond her idol skills, Ayeon is also multilingual. She is fluent in Korean, English, and Chinese. This aligns seamlessly with YG's vision of creating a global girl group. All these star quality attributes led Ayeon to become the first member to be confirmed for Baby Monster's lineup. Together with other members, they were set to be YG's secret weapon. However, just when Ayeon was shining the brightest, everything took an unexpected turn. On May 29, 2023, a video circulated online featured featuring Ayeon's performance at Hamlin Arts High School. Beyond her captivating show, what caught everyone's attention was an allegation that she used a racial slur during her time on stage. With some individuals asserting they distinctly heard her use the N-word, this swiftly triggered a substantial backlash among fans. For South Korean idols, it's not just about how talented you are. It's also important to be a role model for others. This has led to instances where idols face criticism for their actions or words, especially when it comes to sensitive issues like racism. In some past incidents, several K-pop stars have faced backlash for mimicking speech and gestures stereotypically associated with the black community. The story went as far as fans shouted racist to Red Velvet's Wendy during a concert just to let her know the weight of her actions. Lee Young Ji also had to apologize for singing part of Tyga's A Macarena that contained the N-word. This incident occurred on Mnet's reality competition show, Good Girl. In Ion's case, even though she hadn't debuted when the incident occurred, some netizens voiced that she should take responsibility for her actions, especially since Ion is fluent in English. Everyone is certain that she fully understands the deeper meaning behind the word she used. In the midst of the escalating situation, YG's decision to maintain silent only added fuel to the fire. Ion also went silent, and she gradually faded away from group activities. The initial sign of alert surfaced when fans noticed her abrupt absence from Baby Monster's social media platforms. Since her last appearance in a choreography video in July, Ion seemed to have just disappeared. This raises eyebrows because for K-pop idols on the brink of debuting like Baby Monster, staying active online is crucial for engagement and reaching a wide audience. Concerned fans flooded comment sections of subsequent Instagram posts, desperately seeking answers about her whereabouts. Even in public appearances, Ion was noticeably missing. In September, pictures circulated of the group showing support to their senior, Blackpink, at the Born Pink finale concert in Seoul. However, all eyes were on the absence of Ion, the only member not in attendance. A worried Twitter user shared photos of the six Baby Monster members watching Blackpink from a distance, voicing concern, I'm starting to overthink now, where is my girl? In these uncertain times, fans usually look to the managing company for clarity and explanations. Amidst the growing concern, YG provided a brief statement mentioning that Ion is also preparing for her debut. In October, YG finally confirmed Baby Monster's debut with a Coming Soon poster. But keen-eyed fans spotted a concerning change in the logo. The number 7 that was used to replace the T in Baby Monster was now gone. This only fueled more confusion, sparking speculation about Ion's future with Baby Monster monster. The situation also heightened as the debut that was initially planned for September faced delays. Some linked Ion's absence to this, but YG Entertainment clarified that the delay was solely due to careful selection of the title song. 
YG reassured fans of their full speed commitment for Baby Monster's debut in November. In the end, the much anticipated debut for Ayun didn't materialize. On November 15th, just two weeks before the scheduled debut, YG Entertainment officially announced that Ayun will not be debuting with Baby Monster. According to the statement, Ayun, after careful consideration, opted to take a break and prioritize her health during this time, and the company is committed to support her recovery. For some, it felt like history was repeating itself. This situation of leaving before a debut has happened before with Blackpink. Mion, initially set to debut with the hugely popular group, left after training at YG for five years. She later joined Cube and eventually became the main vocalist for the renowned Idol. Similarly, Treasure also lost one member before their debut. A member named Hayu Bean left to pursue a solo musical direction. What's common in both cases is that none of the departed members came back to reunite with their respective groups. As of today, there's no sign of Ion at YG. In a behind-the-scenes video for Baby Monster's Batter Up MV, attentive fans noticed Rora writing the names of the members, but Ion's name was missing. Even during a break with a coffee truck celebrating Baby Monster's debut, fans can't help but notice that there's only six photos, and Ion was absent once again. Now, many are speculating about Ayun's next move. Some believe there's a possibility of her joining another girl group or a Japanese project of YG, which was hinted at by the executive producer Yan Kyung Suk during his appearance on The Last Evaluation. There's also an unconfirmed report suggesting Ayun has been seen at the Q building at night, sparking thoughts that she might be considering a move to another company. However, despite the uncertainties, fans are holding on to hope for Ayun's reunion with Baby Monster. One reason for optimism is that YG's announcement didn't explicitly confirm her departure. Some pointed out that instead of using the term departure, YG used the term rest in their statement. This has led to speculation that Ion could potentially rejoin the group after taking time to recover her health. There have been instances in the K-pop world, like Red Velvet's Yeti, where idols join their groups after debuting, showing that a return is indeed possible and can even lead to success. While Ion's future remains a big question mark, Baby Monster burst onto the scene with their debut. On November 27th, they unveiled the music video for their title track, Batter Up. In this MV, the members showed their signature YG style, as they showed their girl crush image and claimed their stance in this new era of K-pop. Their debut quickly made impacts. Following its global release, their album soared on iTunes charts in numerous regions worldwide. The debut track claimed the top spot on iTunes charts in 21 countries. It also topped the music video charts on international streaming music platforms, such as Japan's Line Music and China's QQ Music. Baby Monster now holds the title for the most viewed debut music video in the first 24 hours, surpassing the record set by Aespa with their debut song, Black Mamba. Within just 24 hours of its release, the MV for Batter Up soared past nearly 23 million views. This remarkable achievement reflects the immense love and interest from audiences worldwide, especially considering that Baby Monster is still a rookie group. It's definitely good news to see the girls going stronger and receiving recognition for their talents. Yet, some cannot help but wonder how this debut might have looked if Ion was still here. If you are curious about who the members of Baby Monster are, check out this video where we unveil the girl group that represents the future of YG. Otherwise, check out this other exploration into the world of K-pop idols, like this one. Don't miss it. Click on the next video now.